frame four. Karen Wilson to break. Frame four in a best of 11 frame match means the last frame before the interval. Two competing agendas for these two. Karen Wilson wants to press on. Mark Allen, he wants to restore parity. Shot of the match so far. Beautifully judged. Okay, it was a, a natural angle, but well, quickly followed by the worst shot he's played in the match, probably. He's having a long, hard look at the cue ball, so yeah. we can give him the benefit of the doubt and say that was a bad contact. But that opening red was was magnificent. Mm -hmm. Eight. Excellent shot. It did seem like a, a tinny sort of contact. Couldn't really see a great deal, but you could hear it. game as well as that if he does make a mistake like in the previous frame he didn't clear up he uses anger in a good way in a positive way it fires him up some players it can affect him it take them a couple of frames to get over it but he uses his disappointment 16. in a positive way and makes him more determined in the following frame 17 Well, he said before we started that he always expects to score. He needs it now. Point two. In the quarterfinals, it was pretty much one-way traffic against Neil Robertson. He was ahead throughout. But it has to be remembered, in his first round match against Barry Hawkins, he was 2-1 down. Responded emphatically on that occasion. In fact, from 2-1 down to winning 4-2... Third. Allen allowed Hawkins to score only 11 points. And he's responding here as well. Cracking opening red deserves everything he's getting. He's taken a long, hard look. This shot doesn't look too difficult. I would suggest just leave yourself high in the black. You can play one cushion for the red that's to the right, the one he's playing, into the opposite corner. Or the, the two reds to the right-hand side of the table. But Search one. <laughs> he's left himself a missable black here. Okay, I don't expect him to, but he's not been as sharp tonight as he was in the previous match. And the cannon's not worked out perfectly. 38. Red to far left corner, or red to left middle. Far left corner, screw back for the black. Ball. 
These are always tricky. It's a blind pocket, which means the way his eyes are lined up now, he can't see the pocket in his eye line. Oh, that's a nice shot. That's well controlled. It really is. You could almost see him. Four to six. Sort of breathing a sigh of relief, thinking right now I've got the balls in where I want them. Sixty. Well, it was at the same point of the previous frame when we thought it was a certainty that Wilson was going to win. He missed an easy ball. 61. Nothing is a foregone conclusion. But surely Alan's going to do enough. 6 reds are left. That means 75 points. 68. And it also means Alan needs just this red to leave Wilson requiring a snooker. And I think if it is 2-2, which looks overwhelmingly likely now, Stephen. I think it's a pretty fair reflection. Yep, I wouldn't disagree. Neither player has dominated so far. The only domination you can see is the long pot success where Karen Wilson's at Tonight. five out of five. And Mark Allen's at two out of four, but... I would say is that Karen Wilson's won both his frames needing more than one chance, one of more than one scoring chance. Whereas Mark Allen's needed just one. 99 in the first frame. 75. And 76. 76 and counting here. Cannon on the pink here. It's very likely this could be his sixth century of this Champion of Champions tournament. Added, Stephen, to Eight the four. 14 he made to win the International Championship last week. Sizable numbers. Nine to one. Two. Fast approaching 400 career centuries. 9 well, the reds tight on the cushion, makes this shot so much Nine easier. Nine. And it is. Don't expect him to miss this. Mm, big surprise. Mark Allen, 99's Two 99's from Mark Allen. He wins two frames, but so does Karen Wilson. As they say at the mid-session interval, it is perfectly poised.